Hi, welcome to the Capital Region Skinny, brought to you by the Greater Capital Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. While the stock market recovered significantly in March, the effects of COVID-19 to the economy continue to build. In just the last four weeks, more than 20 million people filed initial unemployment claims, according to the United States Department of Labor, fueled by stay-at-home orders and a slowdown of economic activity across the country. Added to the unemployment claims from March, more than 30 million people have become unemployed since COVID-19 has become widespread in the U.S. In the face of these challenging times, real estate activity in April slowed significantly. Pending sales decreased 57.6% from April 2019 to 519 for the month. Closed sales decreased 16.8% from April 2019 to 774 for the month. Although there is still plenty of evidence of buyer interest, sales were down compared to last year due to statewide shelter-in-place rules. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 21.1% to 4,149 units. Inventory will continue to remain low while sellers wait for shelter-in-place restrictions to be lifted. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 2% to $218,250. With prices expected to continue to rise for the foreseeable future, buyers are likely going to have to save and offer more for their ideal home. Month's supply of inventory was down 16.3% to 4.1 months. It should be no surprise by now that supply was lower than last year, as will be the case until more listings replenish an eager marketplace. Percent of original list price received at sale rose to 95.7% since last year. While the effect of COVID-19 continues to vary widely across the country, it is expected that social distancing, higher unemployment, and lower overall economic activity is likely to continue to constrain real estate activity in the near term. At the same time, the industry is adapting to the current environment by conducting business using technologies such as virtual showings and e-signing to help buyers and sellers with their housing needs in the face of these challenges. That's the Capital Region Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.